In skills training, rubrics are important. Now, a rubric is just a set of criteria for judging a performance. It gives us insight into what distinguishes a great speaker from a good speaker from a below average speaker. And as a teacher, I would say that rubrics are really at the core of what I do. So in this video, I want to talk about the three benefits of rubrics and then walk through the rubric we're going to be using for the key point speech. So to begin with, what are some of the benefits of rubrics? Well, uh, first, rubrics reflect course aims. So in designing this course and designing any course, I start with skills. What should students be able to do by the end of the course? Now, you can see all the goals for this course on the website. For example, uh, one is to students should be able to write clear and concise key points. So that's a course goal that shows up in the rubric itself. Second, rubrics guide practice. So rubrics, and of course, uh, course instruction, should help you know what to do, but they should also help you know what it looks like when that thing is done well and when it's done poorly. So for example, if my goal is for students to be able to write clear and concise key points, then I design lessons that show, here's what that looks like when it's done well, here's what that looks like when it's not done so well. And, and then you get to apply these criteria to your own performance. And then finally, rubrics can sharpen criticism. So the criteria for the key point speech rubric, really, they apply to most speeches. And once you have a general sense for these evaluative criteria, you can make better judgments about your own speeches and the speeches of others. So that's kind of the benefits of rubrics. Now let's walk through the rubric we'll be using for the key point speech. And again, every item on here reflects good speaking habits, but it also reflects what we're going to be doing in class. Uh, and this rubric is built on the rhetorical canons, so we're going to evaluate the speech in terms of invention, arrangement, style, memory, and delivery. So first up, invention. With invention, we're concerned with the content of the speech. So we start off with questions like, did the speaker include and explain appropriate main points that clarified the speech topic? So in essence, were there some points in there that you know weren't that that shouldn't have been in there? Were there some points that needed to be in there that weren't? Um, then we can talk about support. How was it? Could you see how the support related to the main points? Was there a passage that was maybe a little confusing? Was there something that needed more description? Uh, then we can get to arrangement. Did the speaker arrange the speech elements appropriately? So did the main main points really go together well? Uh, did the speaker orally highlight speech structure? How were the previews, reviews, and transitions? Basically, how easy was it for you as a listener to follow along with the speech? Was did everything make sense? Or by the time you got to the end, you're like, oh, surprise, you're done. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Right? That's not what we want to happen. Uh, so then after arrangement, we can talk about style. Did the speaker phrase the main points clearly and concisely? Or were the phrases maybe too long? Were they confusing? Uh, did the speaker discuss the support well? So did the speaker get into the details of the example quickly? Or you know, were there some examples that were discussed in an unclear way? And then finally, we can talk about delivery. Did the speaker appear confident and animated? That's tough to perform, but it's pretty important. Um, how is the breathing and projection? You know, these are on video, but you can still hear someone retaining too much air or not breathing properly. Uh, we can talk about pitch and rate. Uh, was the speaker providing important prosodic cues to help you understand the content easily? Or was the speech kind of a little bit more monotone? Um, how was the note use? And this, for us, is kind of where we get into the memory part of this assignment. So did the speaker seem to know the speech deeply? And no matter what type of notes they were using, were those notes used well, or did they kind of get in the way of the delivery? Uh, how was the movement and gesturing? Uh, were there some distracting mo movements, or were there some things that you just thought were brilliant, like, oh, when you gestured on the fourth point, it brought tears to my eyes, beautiful, right? Uh, and then finally, we can talk about, did the speaker deliver a speech that was of an appropriate length? And having time limits is important in a speech class because it demands that you make choices. What are you going to include and what are you going to exclude? How often did you practice it to get it smooth and within time? So, in sum, rubrics are important to teaching and learning. They can help us investigate a skill like speech much more closely. Um, this rubric is our map to this course, and it's certainly a general guide to better speaking.